Hey guys, and welcome to my Android 4.2 overview. And I'm going to show you this on the Nexus 7 before I got the OTA today. So I'm just going to show you some of the new features on Android 4.2. First thing you'll notice is the lock screen widgets. And there's the clock widget there, which looks different. You can remove that if you want to. And there's other widgets you can put on there. And Google now lives on the bottom. So you just swipe up from there. And here is the traditional unlock panel right here that you've seen on other versions of Android. So, but the new thing here is if you swipe over to the left, you can add shortcuts from the lock screen. So it shows you the clock and music, calendar. But let's just go ahead and add Gmail here and see what that looks like. So hit the inbox there and there you go. So you just swipe over from the lock screen widget and now you have shortcuts without unlocking the screen. So what do you guys think about that? Is it going to be a privacy issue or do you care? I think it's kind of cool, but you can always choose not to use it. So more options, the better. Now, if you look on the bottom here on the app launcher tray, it looks like the icons have gotten a little bit smaller. They used to be as big as the regular apps, but now it looks a little bit smaller. There's a new clock widget there as well for analog. So uh, the... Performance is just as good as it was before, maybe a little bit snappier, but I really can't tell because the Nexus 7 always performed pretty well anyway, but it always feels a little bit more fluid after an, an update. So the famous two finger swipe down does not work on this uh, the tablet devices. Now, and you're like, well, where are the actual shortcuts for the toggles? All you do is go all the way to the right of the screen and go down and there you go and you'll have the user there and the brightness, settings, auto rotate, Bluetooth, airplane mode and all those shortcuts there are now present. So it's only on the right side. Now if you go to the left side and pull down or in the middle you'll get the regular notification shade. Now that'll also work in the landscape rotation. So if you go to the farther right and swipe down, you will get your short toggles. And then to the left, you will get your regular notification tray. So that's also pretty cool. I like that. But on the Nexus 4, I think the two-finger swipe is the one that works, that goes down. So on the regular tray here, the app tray and the widget tray, you'll see that looks similar. But your analog clock's a little bit different and your digital clock's a little bit different as well. I didn't see really any other new widgets here uh, besides um, I think my library might be new, but I think that was on the older one as well. But I don't see anything else that's actually new here besides the clock widgets. So, But it works well. It's got landscape support that came with uh, the 4.1 update, uh, the 4.1.2 update actually. And it works really well. And if you go into the settings here, let's go ahead and take a look and you will notice that about tablet, it will say Android version 4.2 there. And you'll see the build number as well. But if you look at the settings here, you'll notice that the developer options are now gone. So how do you get those back? Well, that's pretty easy to do. All you hit is about tablet and see the build number there. Just keep tapping at it and you will see that now you are a developer. It's as easy as that and just hit the back key and there you go developer options are there USB debugging everything that you're used to it's all back now so don't worry and I think that's good that Google put that on there because for the regular user they don't really need to be on there it's kind of confusing so if you need to set it then you just go right into the about tablet so that is that so here you can see that the uh, Google now if you just hold down the the home key Google now is there and uh, Google tells that there is new functionality better functionality for Google now and um, I really don't use it that much so I'll probably test that when I get my Nexus 4 device I wasn't able to get one the first time since the servers crashed like crazy my Google wallet just completely crashed I tried about 50 times and I couldn't get it so but here's the camera app it does port over as well to the Nexus 7 Put your finger anywhere and you'll get all those uh, cool settings that you usually get, white balance, all that stuff, and all your camera key shortcuts. I really like that as well. Put your finger anywhere and there you go. And you can change the white balance like this if you want to. And you'll see that happen on the bottom right. 
So I really like the new camera interface. Can't wait to get a Nexus 4 to try it out. I have a Nexus 10 coming as well, so I can show you that. Really fast shutter, as usual. And over here, they got the new stuff, but unfortunately, Photosphere does not work on the Nexus 7. So if you were wondering about that, it just doesn't work. But that's granted, since it only has a front-facing camera. So what do you guys think about this new update here? I mean, the gallery looks the same. There, it's not really a huge update at all, but it's a nice incremental update that they put out with 4.2. And I always welcome the changes. And YouTube looks just as good as it usually does. And everything works just like they said it would. And there's some new animations and stuff. I think there's going to be little subtle nuances that we're going to end up picking up after using the 4.2 update for a while. But I really don't see that much difference. But the functionality here is always welcome with the new stuff they always add. And I always love and preach having Nexus devices for you get the updates very, very quickly. So you can see in landscape mode, it gives you that little cool 3D cube animation. I like that as well. That's very nice. So what do you guys think? Let me know if you find anything else in this 4.2 update. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like and a thumbs up if you like this video for that helps me out a lot. Thank you very much for watching.